Hello guys, it's Rekham and welcome back to another video. So I apologize for the um, for the sound man. The sound might come out messed up because uh, the mic I got mic problem right now, so my mic is not working. It's gonna be a week or two before I get a new mic, but um, I'm making these videos for you guys anyway, man. So I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you do enjoy these uh, videos, uh, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, yeah, MLS is starting up. Um, I believe like tomorrow or today, it depends on when this video come out. And um, if you guys want me to cover MLS, I could definitely cover MLS. Um, talk about MLS. I can't do any like actual video reaction videos for that because uh, copyright MLS are very strict when it comes to like their videos, man. So I can't react to any MLS video, but I could react to the games and talk about the games. So let me know if you want me to cover MLS too. Uh, but we're going to get into this uh, Champions, uh, Kank of Champions League. So there's like four MLS team left in it, uh, three Liga MX. Three league MX team and one team. I'm not sure where, where that team is from, uh, but they're still left in it. Um, they were able to beat who they beat uh, trash Toronto FC man. So um, it's it's gonna be very interested. Uh, so yeah, man, we're gonna start um, with uh, Red Bull. So the first game was sorry, actually the first game was uh, Toronto uh, versus uh, Independiente de la Correra. Man, I'm not sure where they're from. Um, if you know where they're from, let me know, man. But they beat Toronto 3-1 at home, and they were able to um, beat Toronto. I mean, draw with Toronto in Toronto 1-1, man. So they get through on a high get of uh, actually they beat Toronto 4-0, um, 4-0 in the first game, and <laughs> and they were able to draw 1-1 in Toronto versus Toronto. So uh, they get through on a 5-1 aggregate, man. That team you gotta watch out for that team. Uh, so shout out to them. And uh, yeah, I was surprised by that. Uh, Joseph Outdoor just signed a new contract. I know they're missing uh, uh, Sebastian Giovinco. He left to 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 a Middle East team. Um, I don't think they have signed any anybody else to re replace Giovinco. Man, it's, whoever they signed got to put up some. You got to be a good player because Giovinco came in and pretty much changed the league. Man, Giovinco was one of the best players in the league for the, for at least two years. Man, he had league on fire until his Joseph uh, Martinez came in. Man, and but yeah, Giovinco. He tied he tied the um, MLS record. Uh, Joseph Martin uh, Martinez pretty much break it, which it was crazy. Uh, next game was Tigres versus uh, Deportivo Saprias. Man, so the first game played in Costa Rica. Uh, Saprias won that game one zero. Very surprised by that game. Uh, Tigres dominated the, the first leg. Man, uh, came up big on a few occasions. I believe some of the players were being very selfish, like Henry Valencia. Uh, my boy Gignite did not play. Uh, but this game ended in a 5-1 five, uh, win for um, Tigres, man. Tigres dominated him, destroyed him. Uh, very, very good game for Tigres. Uh, and the Valencia scored um, a hat trick in this game, and he went off. Uh, Eduardo Vargas scored a goal, and the first goal was a um, uh, own goal by David. That plays for uh, Saprice, man. So I'm not surprised by the Tigres coming back in this game. Tigres definitely one of the favorites to win this tournament. That's why I said I was very surprised by them. Losing the first game, uh, second game, uh, third game uh, was uh, Houston Dynamo versus uh, Guastayo, Guas, uh, sorry, uh, Guastatoyoya, man. I believe they're from uh, Guatemala. Um, the first game ended in a was it a one? Uh, was like a a, a, a one zero win for uh, Houston Dynamo um, away, and uh, this game was played in Houston. This game ended in a two one win for Houston. Uh, game uh, series finish on the three one. I get Houston is doing all right. Uh, so who knows what they could do in the tournament? Um, next one we have was um, sorry about that. So oh, yeah, man. As I said, next one was Red Bull versus um, C A C A Pantoja. Um, that game ended in a three zero win for uh, Red Bull. Man, Red Bull looked very good throughout the series. Uh, I'm not sure how many. I'll, I'll, how much they won their first game by, but uh, they look good throughout the series, man. They won the first game 2-0 away, and now uh, they win 3-0 uh, three, uh, three at home, man. So I'm not surprised by that. Uh, Red Bulls are a very good team all around, man. They, they kind of remind me of Sporting Kansas City, uh, but that's a team that really compete, but never really really won like an MLS Cup, man, but they always been one of like, the best team in MLS. Um, even better than... Uh, uh, New, York, uh, New York City FC, man. New York City FC is a new team on the block, man, but um, everybody thought it was a came in and be be the best team. David Villa left, so I'm not sure who they're gonna have, man. But that's a different story. But Red Bulls advance over um, C.H. Uh, Pantoja. Uh, next one was uh, Santos versus C.D. 
marathon, man. Not surprised by this. Santos won 5-0. It could have been more, man. Santos looked very good. There was no competition between Santos and uh, CD uh, Marathon, man. They won the first game like 6-2. And uh, when it is 5-0, keep a clean sheet at home. And they were the most dominant team in the um, in the group six uh, round of 16, man, in the Kenya of Champions League. Um, scoring the most goal with 11 goals and conceding two goals. Uh, next game was uh, Montoya, man. Uh, uh, Monterey versus Alianza. Uh, Alianza, El Salvador, and team I did a video for your Ultra Group. Go check it out if you haven't. Um, so, yeah, Alianza, man, they put up a good fight in uh, El Salvador versus Monterey. Monterey is a very, very good team. And, um, yeah, the first leg was 0 0. And uh, Monterey were able to win this one on a 1 0 win uh, with uh, Nicolas Sanchez scoring in the winner. Uh, great goal by him. Uh, great penalty by him, and uh, Monterey barely got over uh, Alianza, man. So I'm not sure about them, but uh, it should be interesting to see how they do in the future. Uh, next one was Atlanta United versus uh, Club uh, Support Club Sport Herediana, man. I would, Atlanta lost that game, and I was very surprised by them losing that game, three uh, one um, away. But they were able to come back and win it four zero, man. Dominant win over them. Uh, killing them in uh, Atlanta, man. Atlanta is a very good team. The best team in MLS, in my opinion. Joseph Martinez, I believe, scored like two goals in this game. He's just a monster, man. He's just a monster, and uh, he's going to be having a great 2019 MLS season. And uh, with him in the squad, man, Atlanta going to be a problem in this league. Uh, not surprised by Atlanta coming back and winning 4-0. Uh, uh, next one was Toluca versus Sporting Kansas City, man. Not surprised by this at all, man. Sporting Kansas City won the first one, like, what, 3-0 um, in, in Kansas City. Um, Adrian uh, Mora picked up a red card, but, uh, yeah, Jerson Fernandez uh, scored a goal, and uh, Kristen Nemeth scored a goal, man. Those two guys scored in previous games. So with those two guys in the squad, man, uh, Sporting Kansas City has nothing to worry about. Sporting Kansas City, man, um, they, I think they're one of the most underrated MLS teams. They've been around for a long time. They've been up there for a long time and winning Trump MLS Cup. They win um, Open Cup, the Shield. They win everything, man. So Strasburg Point Kansas City, a very talented team. Um, I think they're the best MLS. Them, them and Atlanta United are the best MLS team in the tournament. So that was the recap. So we we're, we're gonna go through and uh, do a prediction for the upcoming one. So Red Bull will owe Santos um, this week. Yeah, this week. On, I believe on Tuesday, uh, this Tuesday, Red Bull versus Santos. Uh, Red Bull is a very good team, man, but my money's on Santos. Santos looks very good so far. If they could continue playing the way they play, man, they, they're going to do very good. So my money's on Santos over Red Bull. I'm not sure. I, I believe San they might draw the first game, but the second leg in Santos, they're going to win that one. Um, Houston Dynamo versus uh, Tigres. Um, this one might go iffy. But um, my money is on Tigers. I think Tigers going to perform better at home. I'm not sure if they're going to do very well in Houston in the first game. Um, Independiente de la Torre uh, versus Point Kansas City. I, I got Point Kansas City to get over them easily with Jerson Fernandez and Christian Nemet doing a very good job versus them. So uh, I believe Point Kansas City going to win the away game and the home game. Uh, Monterey versus Atlanta United. That's, this is going to be a very good game on the... I don't know, man. I, I could see the first game ending in a draw and Atlanta United winning the first, the second leg at home. And so Monterey has to win at home three to get over Atlanta United. But my money is on Atlanta United. Just have the firepower. Same with Monterey, man. But Monterey spent a lot of money. They have a very good squad, man. But they're not, like, firing on all cylinders right now. So my money is on Atlanta United unless something change. Uh, so, yeah, man. So that is my prediction, man. Let me know what's your prediction for the 2000 and uh, 2019 Cup Champions League. Uh, what what's this? Uh, quarterfinals. Uh, yeah, man. So make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, man. So four MLS team left in the tournament. Four MLS team. One uh, three uh, team from Liga MX, and I'm not sure where that, that team is from. I want to say uh, Dominic Dominican Republic, but correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know where you're from, man. But Hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Leave a comment. If you guys want me to cover MLS, man, like talk about MLS, like predictions and recap, let me know. And with that, you boys out of here. Peace.